Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, this is the first time I'm going to be speaking on this um, issue, um, so please bear with me. And as I see the updates, I will be reading about them, okay? This is talking about the drones over Israel, okay? Um, this is... Um, these articles, I will leave a link for you in the description box below. All right. Uh, it says Iran's Islamic Resolu Revolutionary uh, Guards Group Corps said it launched dozens of the drones at Israel on Saturday. And it could lead to a major escalation between the regional arch enemies. Air raid sirens first sounded in southern Israel. At around 1.42 a.m. on Sunday, as Iran's drones arrived and sirens and explosions were heard soon after in the skies of Jerusalem and across other parts of the country. Now, as I'm speaking about this, please do your own research, okay, because it's important that you form your own opinions, all right? And all of the information that I am talking about can be found um, on the internet and it is readily available for you. Now, this marks the first time that Iran has ever um, launched any kind of direct um, assault on Israel. All right. Um, Iran, now, this one talks about how Iran's attack has concluded um, the mission, Iran's mission on the, UN, on the UN in New York said in a series of statements posted on X, um, which was early Sunday morning in Israel that its retaliatory attack on Israel has concluded. The matter can be deemed concluded, it said. It went on to threaten more severe responses going forward should Israel make another mistake while telling Israel's ally that the United States is to stay away. Now, as I am recording this, it is 1034 Eastern Standard Time here in the Tampa Bay area. Um, now, moving on, it says, it is a conflict between Iran and the rogue Israeli regime from which the U.S. must stay away. The Ir Iranian regime said its attack on Israel was conducted on the strength of Article 51 of the U.N. Charter pertaining to legitimate defense and that Iran's, Iran's um, military action was in response to the Zionist regime's aggression against our diplomatic uh, premises in Damascus, in which seven military targets, alongside six Syrian nationals who were in the area at the time, perished. Um, Iran's Revolution Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, confirmed that a top commander of the elite Qud, Q U I. QUDS force and his deputy were among those who perished in the strike. It goes on to say this action was in the exercise of Iran's inherent right to self-defense as outlined in Article 51 of the Charter of the UN and in response to the Israeli recurring military aggressions, particularly its armed attack on the April 1st, 2024 against Iranian diplomatic premises in the defiance of Article 2.4 of the Charter of the UN. Uh, days earlier on April 11th, Iran's UN mission blamed the UN for its attack. Had the UN Security Council condemned the Zionist regime, what is it with the Zionist regime? A uh, responsible act of aggression on our diplomatic premises in Damascus and subsequently brought to justice its perpetrators. The imperative for Iran to punish this rogue regime might have been obviated, it's said. Since 2015, Iran and Hezbollah have both maintained a military presence in Syria where they operated in coordination with the Syrian army and government. I, Israel accuses Iran and Hezbollah of using their military assets in Syria to conduct cross-border attacks on Israeli targets. Now, this next one says that uh, Israeli's ambassador to the UN, Gilad, G-I-L-A-D, 
Erdan, E-R-D-A-N, has demanded that the UN condemn Iran over its assault on Israel tonight and designate the IRGC a terrorist organization. Iran has violated the UN Charter and has shown that it is a threat to global peace and security. Where is your voice? Where is your condemnation? Wake up, Mr. Erdan said. In a letter on Saturday to the president of the UN Security Council, Mr. Erdan requested an emergency meeting. A tentative meeting is being discussed for 4 p.m. Eastern time, a diplomat said, speaking on conditions of anonymity. Uh, the next one talks about an update for Israeli military spokesmen um, that said that while Iran's large-scale coordination attacks were still occurring, we have intercepted the vast majority of incoming missiles by Israeli systems. So far, we have intercepted and are continuing to intercept dozens of attack drones, as well as cruise missiles, ballistic missiles outside of Israeli's borders. A number of Iranian missiles fell inside Israeli territory, causing minor damage to a military base with no casualties. Only one little girl has been hurt. She was seven years old. Jesus. Shrapnel is what did it. Oh, my God. Israeli's airspace has been closed as of Sunday, 1230 a.m. Flights have been canceled until further notice. My God. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Like I said, this is the first time I'm speaking on this, okay? And um, I heard about this happening, and but I wanted to get all of you know all of the facts straight before I spoke about this, you know, um, because I don't want to speak uh, on anything until I have all of the facts straight. You know what I mean? So the links will be in the description box below. But like I said, I want you guys to be able to do your own research and um, form your own opinions because I feel that it's extremely important because I, I don't want you to be misled in any way. Okay. All right, guys. Um, I am out of here. I'm going to upload this uh, very, very early in the morning, okay? Even though, like I said, it's 10.39 uh, p.m. right now. I'm going to upload this very early in the morning, okay? So it'll be the first uh, video that you see. All right, I'll see you in the next one. You stay safe, you stay positive, you keep prepping, and as always, fearless. Ciao.